Your bass lines, simple, functional, but so bourgeois. You desire more from your bass. Inspiration, beauty, but you have nowhere to turn. You ask yourself, is this all there is? Is life really so futile? Whoa, hold on there, nihilistic French narrator. What if there was an easy trick to take your boring bass lines and turn them from this... into this. Or this. Into this. In this video, I'll show you how to use the magic of walk-ups to inject life into your boring beginner bass lines without needing a ton of theory. Let's do it. Allons-y, Alonzo. How to walk up. Check out this bass line. So it's kind of plotty, run of the mill, right? But if we sprinkle some walk ups in the right places, we get this. Recognize this bass line? Line from the Pixies, Hey. Using walk up patterns, you can unboring any beginner bass line in any style. Here's how it works. First, you need to find your root notes, which are the target notes that you need to hit to follow the guitar chords. So let's say your root note target is this D on the fifth fret of the A string. So you would just start two half steps, which is two frets, below that target note walk up. So you start on the third fret, then walk up third, fourth, fifth. If your root note was this F sharp on the fourth fret of the D string, you would start on the second fret and walk up two, three, four. And I'll show you some more tricks to make this more foolproof and versatile later on. So keep watching till the bitter end. But that's the basics. Super easy, no theory required. Just count two frets and walk this way. So let's look at how this works in hey. Hey! So in this bass line, the target notes are B, D, G, and F sharp. So we start on the B, then before we get to our next target, which is D, we start two frets below and walk up. Then heading to G, she does a slightly different walk up pattern than the one we're focusing on. But then heading to the F sharp, we go back to our walk up pattern, starting two frets below, open one, two. And then coming back around to our target B on the second fret, the A string, same thing, we start two frets down and walk up, open, one, two. And those walk-ups just really propel the song forward because those extra notes add some suspense that make you want to hear the next bar. And pay attention to the rhythm she uses for these walk-ups because you'll need that later on when you come up with your own bass lines. So she always starts the walk-up two eighth notes before the target note. One, two, and three, and four, and one. So one is where the next target note is. So we go four and one leading into that. So again, that whole bar, one, two, and three, and four, and one. All right, let's play this thing and feel the magic of these walk-ups. I'm not gonna go through the fretting fingering in detail in this lesson, but I'll be using the Samandal technique for this baseline. If you wanna learn more about that, you can check out my fretting techniques showdown video on YouTube. Here we go with the track. One, two, three, hey! Meaningless. Life has become a vacuum. But no longer. You click like. You subscribe. Finally, your life again has meaning. How to walk down. I'll show you how to use this pattern to awesome up your own bass lines later in the video, but first, another way to walk your beginner bass lines from meh to yeah. This time, we're gonna be walking down instead of up. So if your root note was a C on the third fret of the A string, instead of starting two frets below, you start two frets above on the fifth fret, five, four, three. If your new root was an E flat on the first fret of the D string, 
just start two frets up on the third fret and walk down. Three, two, one. Let's check out how John McVie used this pattern on Fleetwood Mac's Gold Dust Woman. So again, we've got our target notes, which are shown by the chord symbols as well. We got D, G, C, back to G, and back to D. So in this bass line, we go straight from the D to G with no walk down, because you don't have to use these patterns every single time in your bass line. But then we do a walk down to C, boo doo doo, starting two half steps up, five, four, three. Then there's a slightly different pattern walking down to G, we're not gonna talk about in detail. And then back to our walk down pattern, coming back to D, starting two frets above, walking down, seven, six, five. Those walk patterns give this bass line all of its character. Just imagine what it would sound like without them. And the rhythm formula here is similar to the Pixies line, but we're using two 16th notes instead of two 8th notes to lead in to that next target. So we go 3, 4, E, and a 1. Coming right in to 1 is where the target note is. Again, that sounds like 3, 4, E, and a 1. All right, let's play this thing and see if we can figure out what a gold dust woman is, okay? Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4. Welcome, gold dust woman. Take your silver spoon. Take your brain. Uh, walk both ways. I'm going to show you the details of how to use these on your own bass lines in a minute, but first let's get some more variety by combining the walk ups and the walk downs. To do that, let's play Verdine White's bass line from Earth, Wind and Fire's Can't Hide Love. Alright, can you spot the walk patterns? So our target notes are F, B flat, G, C, F. So we're walking down to B flat, then we're walking up to G, we go straight to C and then walk down to F. And he's using the same rhythm formula as in Gold Dust Woman. It's two 16th notes coming right before the target note every time. So let's try this out real quick and then I'll show you how to do this yourself on your own bass lines. Here we go, make it funky now. One, two, three, four. You want my love and you can't deny Unburling y'all bass lines. All right, stick with me here because you're going to apply what you've learned to a couple sample progressions, and I'm going to show you a hack for making these even more foolproof. And no, that's not just clickbait. Master the bass with this free hack. You won't believe this weird trick. Okay, so we'll start with this super basic, boring bass line, which will sound like this. chord progression our target notes are G C F then we go back to G but we'll do a high G and then we'll loop back around to the low G we started on so to get to C from G you could walk up from two frets below or you could walk down from two frets above then same thing going to F you could walk up you could walk down then going to G you could go up go down looping back around to the low G you can walk up or walk back down so lots of options here and rhythm-wise, let's just do two eighth notes before the chord change every time, like we did in the Pixies tune. Four and one, four and one, four and one, however we do the patterns. So here's one way you could do this. So we'll walk up to C, down to F, down to G, then up to the low G, circling back around. So let's try this together a couple times. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Up to C. come up with more variations on the space line just by picking some different walk directions like this. So now we're walking down to C, down to F, up to G, and then down to the 
low G. So let's try that out. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Down to C. Down to F. Up to G. Then down to the low G. One more time. Let's test these out on one more progression, different key, different feel, and I'll give you that hack I promised you to make these even more useful. Again, we're gonna start with a boring bass line, which sounds like this with the track. So first step, find your target notes. A, F, D, E. And again, we can walk up or down to any note. So we can go up to F or down to F, up to D, down to D, up to E, down to E, up to A, down to A. Lots of options. So let's try this as a first draft of our bass line. So we'll walk up to F, down to D, down to E, and up to A. So let's try that together, but notice if any of them sound weird to you, okay? Here we go, one, two, three, four. Did you notice a couple of those walk patterns weren't really working so great? That walk up to F sounds a little weird in context. That first note really jumps out. And same thing with the walk down to E. That first note of the walk just doesn't quite feel right. Now, there's a perfectly good music theory explanation for this, which you would easily understand if you'd taken my Beginner to Badass course. But what if we want to keep these working on a no theory basis? Here's the hack. If you try one of these patterns out and it sounds weird to you, just move the starting note of the walk pattern by one fret. So if it's a walk up, Instead of two consecutive frets below the target, drop the first note another fret so there's a gap. Same thing if it's a walk down. Take that first note an extra fret away from the target so there's a gap between the walk notes. So now if we test those tweaks out on the two patterns that sounded weird, it should sound a lot better. So now there's a gap between the walk notes going to the F going to the D as originally, and then we tweaked it going to the E also. There's a gap between those walk notes too. And then same pattern going to the A. Let's try that out together, see what you think. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Yeah.